the commonest causes of voice problems are short-term upper respiratory tract infections and are managed by general practitioners. But if it goes on for longer than three weeks, patients should be referred up to see a specialist. The commonest causes of longer term problems with the voice are firstly tension, that is tightness of the larynx and the muscles around it. And this can result from uh, either stress and worry, but it can be secondary to other things too. It can be a leftover of an upper respiratory tract infection, or it may be that as we get older, we simply are using the wrong muscles to talk with. All of these things can be diagnosed in the clinic. Another common cause of voice problems is reflux. Reflux is epidemic in the Western world. People are getting uh, more and more overweight and their diets aren't as good as they could be. And so acid coming up from the stomach can not only affect the gullet, the esophagus, but it can also affect the larynx as well, causing inflammation and voice problems. The tools that we use in the outpatients um, are small telescopes that allow us to have a look at the throat. And these may either be passed through the mouth, but more commonly these days we tend to pass them through the nose which give us beautiful views of the throat and allow us to diagnose voice problems at an early stage and give people accurate treatments and diagnoses. As a laryngologist, I work as part of a team. And most specifically, we work with speech and language therapists. They have many functions and it's best that we communicate together on a regular basis to help the patients achieve their therapeutic goals.